through that, even through this, uh, this situation that we faced this week, I felt a trigger. And this is being transparent from our early years of marriage. And I didn't know what to do with that because I saw a behavior in my husband that I hadn't seen in years. And I didn't know what to do with it. And I saw it, I gave it to the Lord. And I said, God, I need you to take control over this because I'm feeling uncovered, I'm feeling unsafe. And I did, I started seeing hypocrisy. And I said, Lord, I don't wanna feel this. I don't wanna see this. And I need you to take control of Honest and transparent right now. There's some things that I had to pray for this weekend alone that God had to check me on as a senior pastor. And I never am a senior pastor before I am a man of God first. And I've been married 31 years to an incredible woman, but this weekend we had some differences. And this morning I had to make sure before I got up here in front of y'all, I had to make sure we was right. And I had to apologize. You don't even know what I need to apologize for. But not only did I apologize, Shalon, at our crib, I'm apologizing again to you right now. Because I never want you to miss God because of me. And I'm holding myself accountable because I know what this is for us. And everybody else just listening to a conversation we have. I know both of us grew up with pastors as dads, and I know what that looks like, and I never want to be a false representation. So I'm saying I apologize to you in front of all these people, and I'm making sure that we write, and I'm giving you these flowers because you my boo, and I always want to make sure before I'm right with these people and before I fake a smile with these people, that what we see on stage is real. I have to make sure we right, babe. And that's what prayer did for me. It made me have to come to you. I'm showing men of God in this church. Uh, we ain't gonna be, we ain't gonna be no fake Christians. I was out of line, and that's the woman that got my back 24 hours a day. I feel God releasing something and breaking something. And I don't know what other brothers in this room, you need to be right with God. I'm telling y'all, I'm not going to be no fake phony preacher that gets up here and preaches knowing that there's something wrong down there. And how did you get to that point, Pastor Ray? I got to that point because I understand the vehicle of prayer.